So what we're looking at right now are two of our in-house production printers. We've got Testarossa and Turbo Esprit down there. And these printers are both running ABS prints right now and we're using a special trick to get better ABS bed adhesion. So you can see that they're actually printing straight onto a bare metal plate. You can get in close here and see that happening. But we're getting really, really great smooth bed adhesion for the ABS material. So this is printing a raft now, but we're actually printing onto a solution of ABS and acetone mixed together. And I'm going to go outside for a moment and show you how to do that. So now I'm over by the garage bay door inside our warehouse at Make It, so I have plenty of ventilation. Uh, we've got a pretty nasty mixture of acetone and ABS in that paint can here. ABS juice. And we also have a bare Make It print plate. This actually isn't a bare plate. This is an old, very worn out print sheet on the other side. Um, you could do this on your new plate or you could get a separate plate that's just bare and do only ABS on that plate. One of the nice things about having the removable plates is that you can come outside and get some good ventilation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the container ABS juice. There we go. And we have this milky looking mixture of white ABS dissolved in acetone. Um, so you can experiment with different ratios of ABS to acetone. Um, I've found that a pretty thin solution is actually all you need, so this is mostly acetone. Uh, and all you need to do is get a natural fiber brush or some brush, some kind of brush that won't dissolve in acetone. Keep it in the can there so that it stays uh, pliable and soft. And get some on your brush. Come over to your plate and just brush on a thin, thin layer. So after you've brushed on your ABS juice mixture, you're going to want to let it dry and it's good to be out in a well ventilated area or outside while you do this. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and put this on your Make It printer. Um, you can run temperatures at 100, 110 Celsius and you'll just get really exceptional adhesion for ABS, HIPS, and ASA. And then when it cools down, it's going to pop off really, really easily, come off nice and clean. Even though the streaks might look a little bit uneven, the thickness of that solution is very, very thin, so it shouldn't have any effect noticeably in your actual print, except that you're going to get great adhesion. We've got our ABS acetone mixture prepared build plate here and we've got a really nice smooth layer of ABS going down. So this method is great if you have a really large ABS part and you want to make sure you have the best adhesion across the whole bed. Even those very thin support lines are sticking really nicely and I have every expectation that this print is going to complete successfully. The downside of this method is you're going to have to reapply the solution every time you start a print. So it's not really viable if you're doing this, you know, 30 times a day for small parts. But when you have one big part that you need to get done in ABS, this is definitely the best way to go. So give this a shot, and I hope this method helps you improve things a little bit with your Make It printer. This is the enclosure we use to do ABS or ASA prints when they have to be very large. Take a peek inside and see what's going on. Yeah, there we are. Looks pretty good. Got down here. All right. So these have probably another 15 or 20 hours on them. Lots of support material on both of them. Uh, they'll probably finish late today. But you can see, no problems with bed adhesion, nice and flat.